With Device 42's new Packet Capture tool, you can leverage Packet Capture to greatly enhance services communications discovery. Whether a key business process or a listening server whose role is presently unknown, leverage Packet Capture to discover all of the service connectivity details for any known service. Capture network packets on any Windows or Linux machine to enhance connection data for service listeners known to Device 42. Supplement point-in-time discovery with true continuous discovery and never miss a service dependency again, no matter how infrequently they communicate. Download at device42.com, resources menu, auto discovery software. Scroll down to D42 Packet Capture and click to download. Once you download and extract the software, you want to configure it. You can get information on configuring packet capture on docs.device42.com. Go to Auto Discovery, Packet Capture. Note the important prerequisites listed here. Besides a functioning Device 42 main appliance, you'll need the WinPCAP library installed on Windows or LibPCAP installed on Linux. You'll also need a network adapter connected to the target network you're trying to capture traffic. There are two approaches to this. Machine level packet capture, where you capture the traffic directly passing over a machine's local network card, or network level packet capture, where you configure a mirror or span port on a switch, or configure your VM host in promiscuous mode, and capture traffic from all over the network via that port. So to get started with packet capture, you'll want to discover the machines running your services of interest. We're running Linux servers, as are our services, so we'll start by running a Linux discovery job. You'll want to create one appropriate for your scenario. My machines are all on the 1096 network, so that's what we're going to discover. It's important when you configure your packet capture, make sure you're discovering services. We have that enabled. Go ahead and run your discovery job. Our discovery job finishes up. Let's configure packet capture. You want to copy the packet capture tool or download it directly to your Windows or Linux machine that you'll be sniffing packets from. I've already copied it up to my Linux machine right here, so we're going to go ahead and unzip it. If you browse to the folder, uh, JSON is the config file, and then you'll see the Linux and the Windows executable uh, and a README file. Feel free to run it from right here, where you've unzipped it to, or copy it somewhere that makes more sense to you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and copy ours. So we've copied our packet capture utility over to OptRC Utilities. Here you can see those same files. Looks like there was already a few files in this folder, so you won't see those on yours. It's a good time to verify you have libpcap installed. Go ahead and check if you have this file, libpcap.so.1. You can easily do that by doing locate libpcap. If you have libpcap, as you can see, libpcap so one you don't have to do anything extra. If you don't have libpcap, you want to go ahead and install that. Uh, there's instructions in the documentation. If you're on Windows, you're going to want to do the same with npcap. Now let's get our interface name so we can configure packet capture. On Linux, we can do that with the IP adder command. So we can see that our interface name is ENS32. D42pcap.json is your config file. Let's go ahead and edit that. You're going to want to use HTTPS and the right IP. 192.168.11.246 in my case. Right. Go ahead and put your device 42 credentials in if they're not already configured. We're using the default here. Your interval, if not configured, Go ahead and put 60. This is the amount of data Device 42 packet capture will send back to the Device 42 main appliance in one chunk. Right now it's going to send 60 seconds of capture data at a time. It's a good value to start with. You want to adjust up or down depending on how busy your network is. ENS32 is our interface name. I've already gone ahead and put that in. This last section has filters that you may find useful. We know our service of interest is using ports 20,000 through 20,004. We're also including only the source IPs and destination IPs of our machines of interest. What these filters will do is pre-filter the packet capture data so that needless information isn't forwarded to your device 42 appliance. Ideally, you'd like to limit it to the services you know are of interest. The more you can narrow it down, the better. So we're gonna go ahead and save and our services of interest are already running. Let's take a look to make sure we've discovered them. Our discovery job is finished. 14 servers success, 14 updated. Let's see what we got. Okay, so these are the machines we're interested in. We know our demo service lives on this machine right here. So let's go verify that our listeners exist before we start packet capture. This is the service we're looking for. And here's our listeners. So we're good to go. Go ahead and begin our packet capture now that we've verified everything. You're going to need to run your packet capture as administrator. So if you're not root, you're going to want to use sudo, sudo d42 pcap. If this is your first time running or you just want to see the output, use the debug flag. Without the debug flag, it'll actually run silently. So you won't see any output. 
You need to run Packy Capture for a bit, depending on how busy your services are to get the data you need. At the very minimum, you'll need to run it for your capture interval, which ours is 60 seconds. You'll see the screen change when the data is actually pushed back to the Device 42 instance. As you can see right here, this was uh, the data pushed back to Device 42. Thanks to the magic of video editing, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our results. Let's jump on over to Apps Menu, Service Listener Ports. These look familiar, you can see port 20,000, 20,001, 2, 3, 4. Well, let's deep dive into one of these and see what we have. So similar to what we saw in our packet capture, we see our capture device, dot 16, our source IP, 14, destination IP, 10.96.20. We see client IP was 10.96.14, listener, 10.96.20, that's our destination IP. Let's go ahead and take a look at this communication. So now we're looking at the communication on port 20,000. We can see that there were six active samples that came in through Packet Capture. Uh, Packet Capture and NetFlow both show up as NetFlow in the Device 42 UI. 57 total events. Uh, you can see the first time the connection was found, that's the initial discovery of this device. You can see the connection last found. And another place you can see this information, dive into the service instance itself. You can see the path arguments, the service name, all of the listeners associated with this service now since we're looking at the service instance itself. Let's finish off by taking a look at services, service communications, look directly at all the communications found by Packet Capture. Click on any one of them to do a deep dive into any of the details we just saw. Thanks for watching.